Hi, I'm Sam from Barn2, and if you have both a WordPress website and a YouTube channel, I've got a neat trick for you to be able to add those YouTube videos and playlists to your website in a table format, which is filterable, searchable, and organized by categories or genre or whatever custom type of organization you want. Now, of course, it's easy enough to add YouTube videos to your WordPress website just by embedding them. Maybe you might embed your videos already on your blog, but they're probably scattered across your entire website. They're not organized and placed all on one page for people to be able to filter through and search. So there's many instances where this application is much better than sending them just to your YouTube channel because then they have to go back and forth and ultimately you want them to still be on your website so they can read your blog or buy your products, something like that. All right, here's a quick breakdown of what we're doing in today's tutorial. First, we're gonna add a free plugin, which allows us to create custom post types on our WordPress site. Then we're also gonna add custom taxonomy, which is going to allow us to sort our videos in terms of category or genre or however we want to set it up. We're going to add the Post Table Pro plugin, which is going to allow us to put all those videos into a nice table like the one behind me. And finally, we're gonna customize how the table looks by adjusting some of the finer settings. All right, let's dive in. All right, first we need to install Easy Post Types and Fields. This is available free on wordpress.org and I'll link it below in the description as well, where we can download here. And when we go to our WordPress plugin dashboard, you can see I've already installed it, but you'll want to click on Add New upload plugin and choose the file that you just downloaded from the website or drag and drop it here to install it. From here, we're just going to install now. Now, because I've already installed it, I'm just going to replace so that you guys can see what it looks like from the beginning. So the plugin has been updated successfully. Now let's go to the new post types here on the left and we'll click manage. And we're gonna create a post type just like this one for videos. So to do that, we'll go add new, and we're gonna create a singular video and plural videos. Next, we're gonna choose the columns. I'm gonna keep the title and the content, which will be the videos, the excerpt, author, and I'm gonna take out the featured image because the YouTube video will have its own thumbnail. And now we'll click create. All right, perfect. So now we've created the post type for videos. Now we just need to add some taxonomies. Taxonomies, add new, singular name. I'm gonna put category, plural name, categories. So when I say category, I mean the category of video that it is. So on our channel, we have categories for WooCommerce and categories for WordPress. So each of those is gonna have some subcategories, but the main categories are WooCommerce, WordPress, and then maybe tips and tricks, tools, plugins, reviews, etc. In order to make it hierarchical, we need to check this. This means that when we create a new category, something can be nested underneath it. So for example, WooCommerce could have tips and tricks underneath it. Add taxonomy. Now that step is all done. Now that our custom post type for videos and our custom taxonomy for categories is ready, we can start adding videos and playlists to our WordPress website. So I'll show you how to do that now. All right, so here we have two options for how we want to display our videos. We can start by showing just one video per row or we can show an entire playlist per row. I've actually got a table set up with both to show you how that works. So here you can see this. These two first results are playlists. And when you click on the side, you can see all the different videos within that playlist. And when people hit play here, they can navigate to the next video all within this small player. And here is a single video, so you can see there's no playlist options. And if you prefer, you can just set it up so that every line or row on your table is a video, or you can set it up so you have just your playlists and people can sort them by category. All right, so let's start with the first step, displaying one video per row. So let's go to our admin dashboard and click on videos, which is the new custom post type we created, and click add new. Now from here, the title can just be the title of a video. So I can go to our YouTube channel and I can copy and paste the title of the video. And here in the block text, 
all we need is the embed code. So we go to our YouTube video, we find the share button, and we click on embed. Then we copy this, and we go back to our page editor and paste the embed code. Now here's our video, and what we're gonna do on the right here is click on video, and click on a category or add a new category. So if I wanted to add a new category name, I could say it's WordPress tips, all right, and add new category. I could put that under, if I wanted to, I could nest it underneath the WordPress tutorials, or I can make it its own category. So let's add new. And now here we have our new category and it's underneath the WordPress tutorials. So let's put it under both. Cool. And we'll hit publish. Nice. Now, if you want to add an entire playlist, that's also easy to do. So you just navigate to your YouTube channel and click on playlist. And here we have multiple playlists, which we can put onto our website in that table format. So what we'll do is we'll go to this one here, it's public. Let's go to the playlist and click on this button here, which will actually take you to the playlist page instead of showing you the video. Click on the share button. And in this case, just copy this link here. Now we need to create a new video on the site. The title can just be the playlist title. And we're going to paste the code from that playlist. Let's add the title in very quickly. The title of this playlist is our plugins. We'll put that on a new video post and we'll categorize that as its own category. And we're just gonna call it plugin demos. Save draft and publish. Now you're gonna repeat these steps for either the videos or the playlists until you have all the videos that you want on your site. Okay, so for the next part of this tutorial, we need the Post Table Pro plugin, which is the premium plugin from Barn2. It's available in the links in the description below, and I'll also put a card up here in the video. I hope it's this side. The reason why we're using this plugin is because it's easily the best one for displaying this type of group of videos or playlists on our website because it has searchability filters and can be organized by any of the columns that we made for example the category or genre of the videos so let's continue with the tutorial all right so to add the plugin to your website like i've done again we're going to click on add new and we're going to upload the plugin and similar to before we're going to install it before we can add our post table shortcode to our website, we need to just make a few adjustments in the settings page. All we need to do is jump to the settings page, which will be under settings, post table pro. Make sure you add your license key here and activate it. Scroll down until you get to table content. Now these are the column fields that we're going to actually have in our table. First one I need is content. Then title, which will be the title of the video. Excerpt, if you add an excerpt to each of the videos when creating the pages, this will also come up. Uh, this one is optional, of course. And the last one I'm gonna add is taxonomy, but that starts with T-A-X, and then the colon, and I'm gonna put category, because this custom taxonomy we created was category. That's gonna create a table with four columns like the one I've been showing you already here. Now scroll down to sorting down here. You can set it up however you like. Let's just go title, for example. Sort direction, ascending is fine. Now for search filters, we're going to show based on columns in the table. That's perfectly fine. 
or we can create a custom one and we can add the taxonomy of category. But in this case, I'm going to leave it as based on the columns in the table. You can also update any of the other settings here. For example, the number of posts per page can be set to any number. 25 is probably fine for loading times. And finally, down the bottom, we're going to save our changes. Now to create a page with this new post table, I'm just going to create a brand new page and I'm going to call it YouTube videos. Now, all I have to do is type in a short code that looks like this. So I will put this on the screen, make sure you know what is here. Now, if we publish this page already, we can view it and we can see these are all the YouTube videos that I've added. We have our title and summary, which is the excerpt and categories. But what you'll notice is on the left here, these videos are not looking good. All we can see is the YouTube play button. I can't actually see what I want to see on the thumbnail. So we're going to go back to our short code and we're going to add something which is for the column widths. We're actually going to define the widths of the columns using percentages. So we're going to add widths, W I D T H S. We're going to add quotation marks and start by adding, for example, I like 40% because it gives us a nice big thumbnail on the table, 40%. And then the rest should just add up to 100 and match the number of columns in our table. So for example, the next one can be 25 because that's the title, 25%. And then the other ones, so what do we have now? 65. So the next one could be 20%. And the last one, I think we only have 15%. Make sure we add the last quotation mark and we're going to update that. And now when we refresh our page, perfect. Now we see 40% on the left, 25, 20, and 15%. Of course, you can customize these to whatever size you like, as well as if you add a new column, just make sure that you adjust the percentages and add a new percentage. Now, if you don't want to set all the percentages, you have this other little trick where you can just set it on auto. So let's just see what that looks like. Perfect. So the first one you define as 40% and the rest, you just have to match the number of columns. So for three more columns, we have three more times where we show auto, 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 and this will automatically set the column widths based on the content. Okay, you can see it's pretty much the same result. All right, well done. By combining the Easy Post Types and Fields plugin as well as the Post Table Pro plugin, we were able to create a, a nice handy table for anyone to see all our videos or playlists which we want to add to our website. Please remember to check out the description of this video for all the relevant links. And thank you so much for watching the whole tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and let us know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like to see from us. But that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching.